educational society. In a rare Saturday session, the House of Representatives passed a bill to furlough federal to pay furloughed federal workers. The bill allows 800,000 workers sidelined by the shutdown of the federal government to receive retroactive pay. The vote was 407 to 0. The Senate is expected to okay the measure, but it's unclear when. The White House reportedly supports that legislation. Now, Congressman Mike Kelly supported the Retroactive Pay Fairness Act, saying that the 800,000 furloughed employees, including the thousands in western Pennsylvania, deserve certainty about their means to take care of themselves and their families. On the House floor, Representative Glenn Thompson said, even though many Democrats supported the measures, the Senate has denied consideration of almost every proposal. Yesterday we considered and passed the Nutrition Assistance for Low-Income Women and Children Act, and today we passed another bill to fund the government. These measures should have received the support of every member in this chamber. They are the bills that should have passed the Senate and made their way to the President's desk. The President and the Senate should back these bills, just as they did the Payer Military Act, Let's end this stalemate and move forward with the people's business. The House has passed eight separate funding bills over the past week. A consultant's report recommends demolishing the McBride Viaduct. The bridge has been closed for more than three years because of structural problems. Although some have lobbied to save the bridge, the consultant calls for tearing it down and building an improved interchange nearby for the Bayfront Parkway. Mayor Joe Sinnott, PennDOT, and the federal government support the consultant's preferred alternative. Under the plan, the city would pay 5% of the cost of tearing the old bridge down and improving that interchange. The National Weather Service now says at least six tornadoes, possibly 